This video offers more practice than the Chapter 6 Part 4 did. It's more of a continuation. There isn't a lot of new stuff here. But you should, uh, I can't talk. You should still go through this. So we need to calculate the molar mass. Well, I lost my pen. In a minute we'll calculate. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now we're going to calculate the mass of that many moles of potassium oxide. So yeah, you probably need a formula for potassium oxide. So we'll get that done. That means we're going to need two of these guys. So this shows two potassium ions and one oxygen. We're going to start off with that many moles and we need mass. So how are we going to get from moles to grams? How do we do that? Well, if you said molar mass, you are correct. So take a second, see if you can solve for the molar mass of potassium oxide. Well, you should have gotten 94.2 grams per mole, and if you don't, make sure you see me tomorrow or as soon as you can and find out why you're not getting 94.2 grams per mole or review them video on molar mass. Well, okay, so we're going to start off with what's been given, 1.48 moles. Please don't get lazy. Please write this down. It does make a difference as the problems become more complicated. So we need to bring moles of potassium oxide there and grams of potassium oxide here. And it's one mole always one mole, always one mole of potassium oxide to 94.2 grams. So we're going to multiply those two together. We need three sig figs, so 139 grams of potassium oxide. Well done. Well, yeah, first we're going to have to figure out what acetic acid is. If you remember, it goes to ick, I goes to oos. Well, this is ick, so that means it must have come from eight. And the acetate ion is, there's two ways to write it, but C2H3O2, it has a negative one charge. And to be an acid, you've got to have hydrogen first. And those charges do add up to zero, so our formula for acetic acids, HC2H3. 3O2. Done. Okay, well, we have moles and we're trying to get to mass. So your plan is how are you going to get from moles to mass? That's right, you need the molar mass. So pause the video and come up with the molar mass for acetic acetate. Acetic acetate, that's pretty funny. For acetic acid, aka vinegar. And if you came up with 60.05, yay, that is correct. So we're going to start off with what's given of acetic acid. And I know that seems like a lot to write, so how about if we just do it like this, acetic acid. And moles goes down here. And grams of acetic acid goes here. One mole, always, always one mole. Then we have 60.05 here. We'll pick up your calculator. And three sig figs, so 291 grams, and here I'm going to write it out, of acetic acid. And because it's acetic acid, I should also put AQ. Pause the video on this. See how far you can get. All right, well, we need a formula for sodium sulfate. And I know sodium's this, and sulfate is this. So I'm going to need two of the sodium ions. So we end up with Na2SO4. And I need moles, and I'm starting with grams. So how are you going to go from grams to moles? Well, the same way you just did using the molar mass. 
So I'm going to jot that conversion right here, 142.05 grams per mole. Starting off with what's been given. And draw the line, draw another line. Grams is now what I'm going to chase down there. and moles up here. For every one mole, always one mole, always. For every time you write grams of a substance per mole, the molage will always be one. So now you take your calculator, punch that information in. We need four sig figs. That's right, you need a two there. Moles of sodium sulfate. Pause the video. See how you do on this one by yourself. Yeah, you're probably going to need the molar mass of that thing first. And you should have gotten 175. 4.15 grams per mole. Now what are you going to do? Did you make a plan? I like to make plans. We're starting with grams and we're going to go to molecules. How are we going to go from grams to molecules? That's right, we're going to have to go through moles to be able to get to molecules. Can't do it directly. This cannot be done. You have to go through the mole. So fifth one is sorry, 1.56. All right, I'm just going to erase that. That's twice a failed attempt. Try this again. So 1.56 grams. I'm going to use a J for the chemical name since it's easier to write out. Grams gets chased down, and I'm going to go to moles of this substance. Grams, let's see, oh, we figured that out already. For one mole, always one mole. Grams is always still one mole. I don't get tired of saying that. Okay, moles is not what we want. We want molecules. So moles to molecules, how do you do that? Well, if you said Avogadro's number, you are correct. I should number. Avogadro's number of molecules always for one mole. Always. Okay, now you're ready to do the calculations. 1.56 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Hit enter, divide by 174.15. And we now know we need three sig figs, so 5.39 times 10 to the 21st molecules of, and I'm going to write out the chemical like I'm supposed to, we're done with this problem. These remaining slides are just extra credit points. If there is one coming up that's worth 10 points. You might want to give all of those problems a try and let me see them. I'd be happy to take a look and see how you're doing. Homework problems are listed at the end of the video. Have a great night.